Hi guys, Dr. Heimlich here, and today we're going to be talking about the number one cause for having hypothyroid symptoms in America. So you may be asking yourself, well, if I'm taking thyroid medication, why do I still have these symptoms? Why am I having my hair fall out still? Low libido, lethargy, um, feeling cold, constipation. Well, the number one cause, according to research, is that 70 to 80 percent of the people with hypothyroid have something called Hashimoto's thyroiditis. What that is, is it is an autoimmune disease. What's an autoimmune disease, you ask? Well, that's a process where your body's attacking yourself. And with Hashimoto's, it attacks the thyroid. It doesn't sound very good, does it? It's not, it's a bad thing, really bad, actually. The problem with that is, is that whenever it's attacking your thyroid, it's starting to look for other tissues to attack. You get all this inflammation in your body starts attacking, uh, or it can start attacking the lining of your gut, pancreas, um, nervous system. You get things like brain fog, peripheral neuropathy, you could get uh, um, irritable bowel syndrome, you could get uh, blood sugar dysregulation because of it. It's really not good. So, so what's normal treatment for this? Well, usually what happens uh, if you get diagnosed with it, you continue to take your same thyroid medications. Unfortunately, that doesn't address the problem because it's not your thyroid that's the problem. It's your thyroid being attacked that's the problem. It's your body's in a terrible state of inflammation. Um, there's a different approach to that. It's called the functional approach. And essentially what that does is takes a look and sees what's going on with your immune system, sees what's going on with your inflammatory system, rather. And if it's dysregulated or have an active antigen, you have to address that, try and calm it down. I mean, it only makes sense if you have a lot of inflammation in your body is to decrease that inflammation. The reason that traditionally your uh, endocrinologist and MD don't do this is because the thing that's going to help squash it would be steroids. And they know that steroids is just uh, too strong a treatment approach for it. So usually what they do is they'll just let the thyroid uh, burn itself out and, or, and it'll remove parts of it or, or sometimes even all of it uh, as the disease process goes on and keep you on your... Uh, your hormones the rest of your life. Like I said, there's a different treatment options for that, and that is to calm down the inflammation cycle and slow, slow, slow down that process. So there you have it. That's the number one reason, it's in the literature, that 70 to 80 percent of the people probably watching this video right now have something called Hashimoto's thyroiditis. I forgot to tell you, but it's an easy thing to test for. Okay, there's blood tests that can be done for this, and then if you have it, you can also test for certain type of cytokines to help the doctor to regulate that. So what you need to do if you're having this going on, or you think you do, you need to get to a doctor who understands this information. Thank you.